So my favorite movie of all times is The Silence of the Lambs. So if you want to, you know, get a shortcut to my heart, you know, play respects to The Silence of the Lambs. And this film does it like three times. <laughs> In the autopsy of Jane Doe, a body is discovered underneath the house where a murder happened, and this body has no identification on her, so they call her Jane Doe. And Jane Doe is then transferred to a local funeral slash morgue, which is run by a father's son. And they have to then crack her open and figure out who this Jane Doe is. And when they do that, they realize some supernatural things are starting to happen around the morgue, and it's going to be a long night. Now, the autopsy of Jane Doe comes from the director of Troll Hunters, and this is his first English-speaking film. So I was really looking forward to checking this film out, given how freaking great Troll Hunters is. And I have to say, I really enjoyed the autopsy of Jane Doe. This is a fun and scary traditional horror film that plays with your expectations if you're someone who watches a lot of horror movies. The movie is very simple and contained. It never goes too overboard while also doing a couple of, you know, cool little set pieces here and there. My favorite element to this film is by far the autopsy sequences. It's this crime murder mystery that we have going on of this father and son cracking open Jane Doe and seeing all the different things and with her body and what's going on. It's really cool and every time they get further down into her body it gets more intense, more grotesque, and more haunting. And the movie is scary. It definitely made me jump a couple of times and there was one moment that when they peel it back Oh my god, the crowd gasped. It was such a great reveal. Now, despite a few scenes in the beginning, the movie particularly takes place in this morgue. And I think they do a great job of setting up the surrounding and the settings. And we have a very small, limited cast here. We basically three characters in the film. Our father-son duo, played by Brian Cox and Amelia Hirsch, who are absolutely fantastic. You believe their chemistry and their dynamics. And our dead girl, Jane Doe, who was honestly, truly the standout. The actress who played Jane Doe does a fantastic job. The movie, she's completely steel, but her facial expressions and her stillness were so well captured. Whenever the camera would shoot the Jane Doe, you felt something sinister and unpleasant. Now, in terms of negatives with the film, the movie is definitely two different types of film. On one hand, it's a crime murder mystery about a father and son duo trying to figure out what's wrong with Jane Doe. And then there's another element where it's a supernatural horror where weird things are happening around the morgue the further and further they go down. And in my opinion, the crime murder mystery is far more scary, far more interesting, and far more original than the supernatural element. The supernatural element is everything you've technically already seen before. It's still good and it's still well handled. It's just you wish it was handled on the level of the crime murder mystery stuff. And I would also say the final act is not necessarily bad. It just gets a little typical and basic and it just doesn't have the one-two punch that I felt like the first two acts of the film carried. The Autopsy of Jane Doe is a well-directed, scary, fun, and really intense film that offers great performances from all of its lead and a dead body that's sure going to linger with you long after the film. As the score goes, I'm going to give The Autopsy of Jane Doe a 4 out of 5. So you guys, let me know in the comment section below when you see this film, what you think of this film, and what do you think of Troll Hunters? Do you love it as much as I do? And until next time, I'm the Slash Movie here, and you guys have just been slashed.